President Rodrigo Duterte comments on Time Magazine's President of the Year for 2018, which includes Rappler's CEO Maria Ressa as one of the guardians. Ressa is named along with Jamal Khashoggi, The Capital Gazette, and jailed Myanmar Reuters reporters Walone and Chao Suo. Time of the what? Time of the year, magazine time, uh, woman of the century, and all. Inyo na yan. Ako simply lang ako. I'm a worker of government, and I work for the people. The long and short of my oath is, I have to protect the people of the Republic of the Philippines. And I have to preserve the nation. Time says the group of journalists got the award for taking great risks in pursuit of greater truths, for speaking up and speaking out. The National Union of Journalists of the Philippines hails the recognition as a testament to the resistance and tenacity of the Philippine press in fighting for press freedom under the Duterte presidency. Balacanyang insists freedom of expression is robust under the Duterte administration. The Catholic Church denounces a proposal to transfer one of the three Balangiga Bells to the National Museum in Manila because their historical and rightful location is St. Lawrence Parish in Balangiga, Eastern Samar. In a statement, the Catholic Church in Borongan says transferring one of the bells is a quote, disrespectful mangling of history and the right of the Catholic faithful of Balangiga to their private property. Senator Migs Zubiri earlier introduced a resolution to place the Balangiga Bells in the National Museum. This comes after the United States returned the bells to the Philippines. The U.S. took the bells as war trophies during the Philippine-American War more than a century ago. Two companies leading the pack in the pursuit of space tourism say they are just months away from the first out-of-this-world passenger flights. Virgin Galactic, founded by British billionaire Richard Branson, and Blue Origin, founded by Amazon creator Jeff Bezos, are racing to be the first to finish their tests. Neither Virgin nor Blue's Origin's passengers will find themselves orbiting the Earth. Instead, their weightless experience will just last minutes. To the tune of $250,000 with Virgin, the new round of space tourists will be propelled dozens of miles into the atmosphere before coming back down to Earth. Blue Origin has yet to announce its pricing. SpaceX and Boeing are also developing their own capsules to transport NASA astronauts, most likely in 2020. They are also looking into offering private passenger flights.